Hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation with a note about a new and very exciting update to OpenCPN. Uh, that is now the version 4.82, and that came out, I think, about la last week. But there's two, uh, and they have a lot of improvements in the new version, but there's two in particular that we were really happy to see, and those are the only two I'll focus on today. But just for those who already have it, you go to opencpn.org, or if you're getting it for new, it's a good program, I uh, recommend that you try it. So uh, you go to opencpn.org, go to Downloads here, then Latest uh, Release here, down here, and then here's the PC version and the Mac version. And you just download it. If you have it already installed, it will overwrite it. If you're on a Mac, you will have to go into your preferences and give it permission to open the first time, and after that it works fine. So that's what, um, that's what we want to talk about. So the thing, and so I'll just list here what the main things are. Here is now, uh, here's, a here's a chart. Uh, this is a raster chart, a uh, uh, copy of the paper chart from Puget Sound. And one of the things, uh, there are two things that they changed, which are, I want to address today very quickly, which, which we are happy to see changed. Uh, updated. And uh, one has to do with the symbols on the electronic navigation charts, the ENC vector charts, for minor lights. So if you see here's a double bluff light, that has a range of six mile, nautical miles, this one's seven nautical miles. The key number on changing the symbols is 10 nautical miles. So 10 or more, they have a different symbol. And in the previous version of uh, uh, a previous version of OpenCPN, that distinction was not made. But now they make it. And so that's a very nice. And so this OpenCPN, uh, so let me just show you here once. I'm sorry. Let me look at the vector chart. So here's the vector charts of these. And these are now the light symbols that are here, just a plain uh, teardrop. Um, let me go back here and show you. This is the way they were originally where they originally in the 4.6 and earlier the lights had these extra rings and the rings uh, the rings should only be there for the lights bigger than uh, 10 nautical miles now with that said that was a minor minor glitch in uh, open cpn because when you consider all the electronic navigation programs we have out there open cpn is one of the very best for meeting the true the true uh, ecta standards for uh, displaying the uh, ENC properties. So this was just a minor thing. So we're really glad to see it because now they really stand out as being one of the leaders in presenting uh, in a, in a non-ECTUS program the real, uh, a, a very true representation of the ECTUS symbols. So now, so this is what it used to look like in this area with these extra rings. And now these are gone. And the rings are only there uh, where they belong. So, whoops, let me get back to here. Somehow sensitive. So this means that these lights with the full rings mean that their nominal range is greater than uh, 9 or actually 10 nautical miles or more. Now, that's not necessarily true for sector lights. All sector lights have an arc. So you can't judge the nominal range from the sector lights, but all the others, uh, that's true. And so that's fixed. Now, the second thing was, th and this one takes it just a, another quick note. This is the way the standard uh, for years, all, all the time I've known about it, this is the way the OpenCPN presents the uh, wind vector, wind barbs. And that has these little arrows on it. And those are, um, you know, you could think that that's, that's adding some information, but it's actually distracting. The wind does go this way, and we learn that pretty quickly, and then otherwise these little barbs are distracting. So now you can actually go in and, let's see what this is. Is that the right one? See, now you can change it so they look like standard, standard wind barbs that you'd see on every other kind of map in the world. So OpenCPN was uh, frankly kind of unique in showing those little arrows, and now we can shut it off. But let me show you how you do that. Uh, that's not, um, let me show you how to do that. So here is now, this is, which version is this? Is this, this is the Mac version. Let me look at, here, oh, okay, here's a PC version. 
I'm running a PC version in a Mac as a virtual machine. That, by the way, works very nicely. So here are these things. Now, the way that you change this, yeah, let me uh, close this and go up to, um, go to the options, then go to plugins. And this is the Grib plugin. These are all these lists of plugins. And you go to the Grib plugin and you find the preference here. Now, sometimes that's hidden. I, for, I forget how. There's ways that that little button is sometimes hidden. So if you need to, move it around so you see this preferences button here. Then you push the preferences. And what you do is um, draw barbed arrowhead. See, now that's checked. And that's going to mean that's going to draw it in the old standard way of OpenCPN with the, um, with the little arrowhead. So just uncheck that, period. OK. Done. And then you're done. And apply. Apply. Close. Now we can go back and turn on the gribs. And there you go. That's how you get the, you get the regular ones. So that's the two main things I wanted to say. It, there's other good reasons for updating to the new 4.82. But these are two that um, I'm really glad to see are taken care of. And now we can look at the other more subtle features uh, later on. Um, and we'll come back to those. I haven't actually studied those. I was just so excited to see these. But let me say that, let me go back to these charts here. Let's see, is this one? OK, so this is, a, I just want to make a note. So if you're not familiar with the vector charts, I would encourage you. That's the vector charts, the ENCs. These are the regular raster charts that we're familiar with. They're just copies of the paper charts. And these are, these are then the. Uh, the electronic uh, ENCs. And there's a lot of virtue to these ENCs, but there is a learning curve to take advantage of them. So that, let's see if I don't have a plug here for our book. Um, yes. So we have a book. And this is a plug for that book, Electronic Chart Navigation. And this book, and there's also ebooks of it. There's ebooks in um, Kindle, iBooks, Adobe, and various others. So uh, that are, I think, a, I don't know what they cost, about $12. And so uh, this book tells you all about these ENCs and the great virtue of using them at, under what circumstances. So I will stop there. That's the main point I wanted to make about those two symbol changes.